Hello all, welcome to the AVR Programming Tutorials video file. In this session, we shall see the AVR Fuse settings. All AVR chips have three bytes of resettable fuses. Resettable means we can uh, change it again and again. One is the H fuse, fuse high byte, and the next one is low byte, L fuse, and the third one is extended fuse, E fuse. We are interested in this H fuse and L fuse. If you check up the data sheet of ADMECA 16, page 260, you can see the definition of this uh, uh, low byte and high byte fuses. The put together, this is the uh, default H fuse 99 hex and the default L fuse is E1 hex. Before setting the fuses, be aware that false setting of fuses may render the IC useless. Then you will need a new AVR chip than repairing it. Now Google for uh, AVR fuse. And select the first result. You will be taken up to the embedded Atmel AVR fuse calculator. It is an online fuse calculator. You can use it safely for setting the fuses. First select the AVR part name. Now we are using 80 mega 16 and select it. You will be presented with a list of options. The first one is the setting up of uh, oscillator that is uh, setting up of clock whether it is internal or external. By default 80 mega 16 is set up with an internal RC oscillator which works at 1 megahertz. But 80 mega 16 has a capacity of working maximum up to 16 megahertz. So we can set up this by changing changing these fuse bits. As you can see, there is a huge list of uh, oscillators. External clock. External clock means we are supplying a clock from outside. Maximum this type is not used. And internal RC. This is also not so accurate. This is using a uh, resistor and a capacitor uh, uh, network provided inside the chip. This is also maximum uh, not used. And the other one is the external RC using a R and C to set uh, charge discharge rate as clock input. And the other one is the external resonator. Resonator is a three leg uh, chip which is cheaper than oscillator but uh, tolerance is not so that good. And the last uh, set of settings is the external oscillator that is usage of external crystal as an oscillator. This is the de facto standard. Uh, you attach uh, crystal to the two oscillator pins. In ATmega 16, this pin 12 and uh, 1213. And if you set the bit, most probably you will set this external crystal high frequency this setup so that it uh, works at the external crystal frequency. If you are not sure about it, you just select the default value. The next one is the brownout deduction level. And the other one is the boot flash section, which sets the boot address and the size of the boot uh, bootloader, which is uh, 1024 volts. And this is clock option. This is a very important one, that is serial program downloading enabled. In case you disable this, you will not be able to program the chip in serial mode and you will require a separate parallel programmer to again enable this. So please don't play with the fuses unless you know what you do. 
and this is the manual fuse bits configura configuration that is uh, a selection means uh, programmed and a no selection means unprogrammed it is one by default you can see the low byte is e1 hex and high byte is 99 hex if you change any of this uh, settings fuse settings you can apply the values and uh, this uh, code you can copy and feed it to the AV or dude now suppose you want to use an external crystal of 8 megahertz across pins 12 and 13 of 80 mega 16 then you have to do the uh, few settings like this please note that uh, 80 mega 16 L can work maximum up to 8 megahertz crystal only if it is 80 mega 16 plain or 80 mega 16 A then it can work up to 16 megahertz this point you have to note down as you cannot use more than 8 megahertz crystal in with 80 mega 16 L so for setting this external crystal you just uh, select from the drop down the last setting external crystal resonator frequency this is the last setting we just select this you can see the low fuse bitings change to FF you can also directly feed FF to this low fee, low byte and then you select apply values you can now copy this command and feed it to the AVR dude in case you are setting this to external crystal 8 megahertz and if you are not using the crystal in the in your circuit then your uh, chip will behave like dead that is the chip won't oscillate and it will behave like dead so please take care while setting the fuse settings to record the fuse bits onto your uh, target AVRIC we will use a small program called Cinepro google for Cinepro it is available only with uh, rapid share download it unzip the download rad file inside the Cinepro folder you will see the Cinepro application no installation is required as it is a standalone stand program double click on Cinepro this is the simple interface of uh, this application you can set the fuses by clicking the advanced uh, button under fuses here you can set the internal oscillator or external crystal like this you click on advanced it will uh, find the device if the device signature is not uh, if it is zero zero then uh, it means uh, your USB ASP is not recognized you can change uh, the fuse bits high fuse and low fuse here and click on write so your fuses are written on uh, AVR on your, the target AVR you can also you can also program your uh, hex files through the same uh, small simple program Cinepro thank you